some people send me little comments and they say, not bad for a Kaffir. Hey, nice channel for a Kaffir. Hey, you're okay for a Kaffir. Well, someone asked me, hey, do you mind being called a Kaffir? If someone says, nice job for a Kaffir, I'm fine. It's, it's cool. If I grew up in my formative years and people were calling me that name and it was hurting me and I was missing opportunities in life, it would probably adversely impact me. And I would hear the word Kaffir and it would make me shudder and I would be angry and upset and scared. A lot like the N-word here in America. If you call a black man um, the N-word, it, it's wounding. And people say, well, they call each other that. Yeah, well, that's fine. That's their business. If you don't have a reference that's associated to pain, then it really isn't likely to hurt. So if someone calls me a Kaffir, it's not something that impacts me. Now, if I was living in an area where I was surrounded by Muslims, and I was the only non-Muslim, and then all of a sudden I found myself uh, having Kaffir written on my door, and people insulting me and threatening me, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you'd ask me what do I think about the word Kaffir, and I'd probably say, ah, I've never been treated that way. The only time when I hear the word Kaffir, when it actually hurts my feelings or has me a little concerned, is when I see a Muslim who's angry posting a message to another Muslim, and then that Muslim says to the other Muslim, please don't share that sort of information with the Kaffir. And then all of a sudden it's like you can really feel this guy is making a distinction. Hey, who are you with here? Are you with me and Islam or are you with the Kaffir? That's the only time when I hear the word Kaffir when it bothers me. If someone says, you know, anything else, Kaffir doesn't bother me at all.